Ladies and gentlemen, you are in for an absolute treat in today's video because I'm going to be walking you through this AI automation that can scrape any URL of your choice and many URLs and extract as much information you want from it, including their basic email, their personal email, their phone number one, phone number two, additional information, and then all of this is going to be verified through this part right here. So this is a video you're not going to want to miss. Just make sure you watch to the end so you understand how to get your hands on this beautiful thing and let's jump straight into it. So the goal of this automation is to be able to take any URL, whether it's 500, 1000 URLs in a Google Sheets that you have, it could be website URLs or prospects, it could be anything, and basically be able to extract any data from it at a mass scale. But not only that, we want to find high quality data, including the personal email of the owner and so much more. So you can see that you would have to if you were doing this manually, you would have to spend a good five minutes trying to find like the email. You can see that you've got it right here. You've got the location. You've got this stuff, but we want to find the actual owner's email. So I'm going to show you a hack that I've been able to create that allows us to do that. Um, and this is completely automated as well. So if we just run this automation to show you how this works, you can see that it is essentially um, yeah, going through, creating that, and it's just put it in right here. So for this website, if we take it, it's been able to scrape this completely automated, by the way. Um, and if we just try and find the owner's email, you can see that it does not exist. It's given us this info at company name, which will never get responses. So the goal of this video is to actually find high quality leads that haven't been exposed to similar B2B offers. And it's very technical, but it's very easy when you follow what I'm gonna show you in this video. Um, so you can see that it's actually been able to find the uh, personal email, and obviously it could run through hundreds of these uh, websites if you want and get it to do that. I've just put it as one so I don't waste too much usage. Um, but essentially, this part of the automation is actually an email verification tool that can actually verify this and see whether it's his legit email. So it's insane and it'll tell you whether it is or not. Um, but bear in mind, this prompt can be changed right here to basically put whatever you want. Um, so if you want to extract something else, it can do that. Um, but let's just get started in terms of how you would build this automation. But hopefully that was a good enough intro to actually keep you watching because it is very powerful. And those that understand this are going to have a massive advantage over the competition because you won't be reaching out to the same people as everyone else. Um, so let's uh, yeah dive into this. The first thing you're going to need is a tool called make.com. If you've never used make.com before, it's just a no code software where you can build um, automations very easily. So once you click log in, the first thing we're going to do is, cl is click create a new scenario at the top right and once you do that we're going to click google sheets and we're going to click search rows so it's as simple as that just make sure you connect your google sheets right here um, if it says fail to load data that's just because you haven't connected the right one so yeah make sure you correct uh, connect the right one then you can just select the spreadsheet that you want so in this case we want to select the uh, basic urls right here so click that and we just want to yeah, identify it as sheet one, which is um, yeah, sheet one right here, unless you have multiple sheets, but that's not necessary. And just keep watching because it's actually really easy. This should take you like five, 10 minutes to set up. And once you set it up, it's gonna save you so much time on not having to data enrich leads to actually get good appointment setting um, yeah, campaigns out there. So uh, yeah, once you do that, just remove that and click save. So congratulations, you've done the first one. If it has that little error, don't worry, just click on it again and then click save and it will go away. Um, now what we want to do is essentially add a set variable. So the reason we do this is because we want the um, automation to go down the router that we want it to. So that's why we add a set router. So instead of it just doing the never bounce and then adding it to Google Sheets, we want it to essentially um, scrape the website first. And then if we want it to, we can just type uh, verify in here and it will go down the other route. So to show you what that looks like right now, if we if we run this, it will go down here. So you can see that, yeah, it didn't go up here, it went here. Now, um, to do that, you essentially want to, yeah, click on this, add a set variable. You don't need to understand this, you just need to <laughs> literally follow me. Um, the variable name can be, yeah, filter, wh whatever you want to call it, to be honest. And then the variable value, could be, um, leave this blank actually for now. Um, so now just add a router and you are literally like almost done. I'm not even joking. It's actually super, super simple. Um, so it's this and you can see that this just allows us to divide it. So it's not just going down one route. Um, yeah, but a different one. So we're gonna add the uh, filter at the end 
So the first thing you're going to do is essentially, if we look at this one, is add a HTTP make a request. So yeah, this essentially allows it to, yeah, do H HTTP to make a request. So you just want to search for make a request. Um, also, it's HTTP first, so HTTP, um, and it's going to be make a request. And for the URL, you can essentially add the website URL right here. And the method is going to be get, I believe. Let me just double check, get, and you don't need to add anything else. So you can see that we are literally almost done. It's not even that complex at all. Um, the next thing we're going to add is going to be a text parser. And this is just going to allow us to yeah, pass the text as data. So it's going to turn the HTT, uh, HTML to text. So what that would look like is you doing the HTML, um, yeah, this one, and then it's to text. And then just put in the data that it gets from the website. Um, once again, if it does that, just click off it. I don't know why it's gone yellow, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, and now we're going to add the uh, LLM of your choice. So we're going to choose ChatGPT, and this is the best part. So I'm going to put this prompt in the description, and it's by far the best prompt you're ever going to see. Because if you're wondering how do you actually get it to put um, the output of whatever on the website into its own specific kind of column that is done through this prompt right here. And this is honestly the best prompt. So click open AI and you're going to click on create a completion. So once you click on create a uh, completion, you're going to select the model of your choice. We're just going to choose 4.0 and the prompt is everything. So you can change whatever you want in this prompt. I will put it in the description for free because I don't want you to pay for this. Um, and it's actually super easy. So click on add message, um, click on let's do developer system and let me show you the prompt right here. So we've essentially told ChatGPT, your role is to scrape the website URLs and return contact details associated with that business in the following rows. So format the output in JSON like below. Please provide the following details in valid JSON formats only. Do not include any extra text before and after the JSON. The output should follow this exact structure. So we want the owner's name, we want the business email, we want the personal email, uh, we want the phone number one, phone number two, additional info. And of course, if you wanted to scrape something else, like maybe you want it to write a personalized first line, if you are gonna reach out via email, things like that, you can just add it um, right here, or you can copy and paste this into ChatGPT and just get it to add whatever you want. Um, and then we've just said keynotes, to get a personal email address, I'd like you to put the owner's first name before the domain. So how this works is if we go back to this website right here, you can see that you get the info at londonroofing.com or whatever their website is. But if you have the owner's name, which this scraper can do, what it's gonna do is actually, instead of having info at London Roofing, whatever, it's gonna put the owner's name before that. So it would be Charlie at London Roofing. And I promise you, 70% of the time, this is this is their personal email that they check every single day. But in case it's not, that is why we have Neverbounds right here. So you can see what I mean. Like who else in the market or on YouTube is giving you this much information that's actually tactical for appointment setting and making money? Because I, I know the ins and outs of this. Because if you just send an email to the support email, it's never going to work. And that's why I've gone the extra step to be able to come up with this method. Um, so yeah, um, obviously if you can't find, or if it can't find the owner's name, because sometimes on websites, they don't have like an about and that you can't find the owner's name, then it will just move on. It will still give you the basic email, which is better than nothing, but ideally we want to find the personal email and then we want to run it through the actual never bounce. Um, so this is the prompt. I'll put it in the description. Um, just make sure you put the text right here because obviously it, we need to give ChatGPT the information to be able to give a correct output. Um, so yeah, that is what you want to copy and paste from the Google Doc that I'll put in the description. And if you want this automation just completely built for you, feel free to join the community. We have about 15 to 20 other completely done for you automations because yeah, if you're, if you're someone that like wants to save time and just have things done for you, I would recommend hopping in there because there's so many killers as well that you can connect with and problem solve with. But nonetheless, um, let's just paste this in here like what you would do and yeah, that's pretty much as simple as it gets. Just make sure you have this as whatever you want. So if you have a budget in terms of the um, amount of tokens, just click save. 
And yeah, all we need to do now is actually, actually one thing you need to do very importantly is we want to pass this as JSON um, or JSON into text. So that will allow us to have it into the correct um, columns right here. So how you would do that is by clicking on the advanced settings right here. So once you click on that, we don't want it to format the response as text, but rather as a JSON object. So yeah, then we wanna click on pass JSON. And if you're wondering why do we do this? Well, we want the output to be JSON. So that allows us to actually have it into columns. Otherwise it will just put it into like row B, for example, which doesn't look too good. Um, so yeah, just click save. So once you got into this stage, you are literally done. All we need to do is put the output from ChatGPT into the Google Sheets that we have right here. So all you're gonna do is just select Google Sheets. We're going to, um, yeah, do add a row or, sorry, update a row or bulk update rows if you wanna do multiple at the same time. Um, so yeah, if we just click on update a row to keep it really simple and just say we wanna do one at a time, um, you can essentially, yeah, just have it like this where you need to map the fields. So what that looks like is you selecting the same spreadsheet. So we're gonna search for the basic website URLs. Very simple like this. Sheet is gonna be sheet one, just like what we did before. Um, row, you can just put as like row two, let's say. Um, or you can see actually right here that we can just have row number. Um, and yeah, once again, you just wanna map the correct fields. Obviously you don't need to do the website URL one, because we've already got a URL. Um, but what we do need to do is put in the owner's name. So that is owner's name. This one is going to be the basic email. This is going to be the personal email. This is going to be the phone number one, phone number two. I think you get the point at this point. Um, so yeah, once you do that, you just click save and now you are good to go. So you have successfully created a data enrichment automation that can take any URL or multiple URLs and extract whatever you want from that through this prompt. And obviously it's gone one step further because I've given you a prompt that can essentially put the owner's name before the domain and 70% of the time that is the actual personal email of the owner. So that's super sick. But just in case it's not, what we want to do is add a never bounce automation. You can use something else, but we just use never bounce because it's super simple. Um, you may need to sign up to go to neverbounce.com and you essentially, let me show you what it would look like. Once you log in, it will show you this. Um, you would go to I believe it is settings, um, or not settings, but go to either integrate, create a new app, just uh, call this whatever you want. So I don't know, let's just call this make, um, or sorry, let's do YouTube, um, custom integration, create app, and then you have an API key right here. So just, yeah, click that. Once you click the down button, it will give you the, your API key and then you paste it into uh, make.com and then you just map this. So you have the personal email um, and then, yeah, it's essentially gonna verify if you want. Now, obviously you want it to give the output into that same Google Sheets. So if you update a row and you click the, uh, this is very, very important. So keep watching just for like 30 more seconds. Obviously we want, um, what's it called? Basic website URLs. So we wanna have a option right here that maybe says verify yes or no. And it will tell you right here whether it's a verified email or not. And this is just a way of automating it, but I guess you could just upload the CSV after you've done it or play around with it into Neverbounce, but this is just in case you wanna automate it. Um, so H, which is the column that we want, we essentially want to have a yes or no answer. So put sheet row is going to be uh, row number. And then here, verify yes or no we want the actual result. So click result, click save. Now you have successfully created the automation. However, you need to set up a filter. So just set up a filter, call this, um, I don't know, filter to be honest, doesn't really matter. Put filter as equals one. And I'll explain this in a second. Do the exact same right here, call it filter. Put uh, filter equals verify. So what this means is if you click save, if you want it to actually scrape the emails, you put one here. And as I said, if you run this, it will go down this route. So it will extract any information you want from the URLs. Now, if you want it to, after you've done that, let's say five minutes later, if you want to verify whether 
like all of the emails. So let's say this looks something like uh, this. Oh, sorry. Let's say it looks like this, but you have all different emails and everything like it. And let's say you want to verify all of these um, emails to check. What you can do is click verify. And once you do that, it will go down this route. So that is essentially the difference. If you wanted to scrape and get data, you do this, which it goes down this route. If you want it to verify the emails, you click verify and it goes down this route. Hopefully that makes sense and I haven't confused you on why we have a router. Um, so hopefully this video helped and this is just scratching the surface of what you can do with make.com. I've got so many videos on my channel um, that are way crazier than this, but this is a really good start if you can do this and you are starting out as a beginner. Um, so yeah, drop a like, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video and comment what videos you want next or maybe comment if you're struggling, I'm, I always check the comments and help you guys. Um, and obviously, if you want all of my automations, you want free goal level to actually send emails, cold calls, text, all of that jazz, feel free to join the community. Um, we actually include softwares in the community so you don't have to pay for anything else um, after you join. And that is our you know unique selling point, our USP, that we kind of have stacked softwares into it like Go High Level. We've stacked you know lead scrapers that we've built um, that are better than this, and obviously in the cloud, you know we've got two uh, cold DM softwares that we actually give you included. We've got one for Instagram DMs to automate that, and we've got uh, Twitter as well. And yeah, we just stack softwares, but that's a story for another day. Hopefully you enjoyed the video because that's the goal of this um, video. So yeah, take it easy and I'll uh, catch you in the next video. I'll put some up here that you can watch.